bump, I got hit in the back incredibly hard. I thought the boat had hit me, actually, as I was coming up to the surface, and I immediately realized that I had gotten uh, bit by a shark. A local doctor is doing research uh, on how to better treat shark bites like this one you're seeing right here. As Kathleen O'Toole found out today, the bacteria in the shark's mouth can be just as dangerous as the teeth. Kathleen? Well, Tiffany, first you have to survive the teeth. Then the shark bite victim's nest, nest is not losing muscle and flesh to infection. Here and here. Nick Reich's vacation photos are a little bit different than most. I, I took more of the, uh, the bite in the top. His encounter with a bull shark in the Bahamas years back cost him 50 to 60 stitches. A little bit afraid swimming back to the boat, you know, not knowing where the shark was. Like many a shark bite victim, the puncture wounds weren't the only worry. So too was infection. After he stitched me up, uh, he gave me an antibiotic and, uh, and I was fine. The next biggest concern is infection. St. Mary's surgeon Dr. Robert Borrego treats several shark bites a year. When a young victim his father asked him about the specific bacteria sharks carry. Well, a light bulb went off. So we decided that we would try to see exactly in this local Florida waters what kind of bacteria the sharks uh, harbored in their mouth. A research study was launched in Dr. Borrego with Dr. of Pharmacy Nathan Unger started catching sharks. So what are you doing now? So you see this is a closer swab. A wrangler assists allowing the pair to swab the mouth before the shark is sent back to sea. Culturing the swabs on the plates which will grow the bacteria. Identifying the bacteria will help patients fight the bites long after that shark is gone. Now we can narrow our antibiotics, which at this point we're using broad spectrum shotgun approach to just maybe a single antibiotic. This is great for patients because it reduces the risk of toxicities. How soon did you get back in the water? I actually was back in the water uh, the day after I got bit. Unbelievable. Now the pair hopes to catch a lot more sharks, I hope carefully, and wrap up their research by the fall. Live in the newsroom, Kathleen O'Toole, WPBF 25 News. Kathleen, that was some story. Thank you. Investigators are trying.